What's up, YouTube people? OG Silver back here in this motherfucker. And today, I want to talk to all you little silly Sally, little bitch made soft motherfuckers about penitentiary style workouts. Or what you fuckers call convict conditioning and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you the difference. Why? You go to the gym and you see these motherfuckers year after year, month after month, day after day in the fucking gym. I call them motherfuckers gym rats, man. They've been going to the gym for years. And they look the same. Like they don't get no bigger, they don't get no stronger, they don't get no cutter, they don't get no powerfuler, they don't get no awesomer looking. And they always say the same thing to me. All the fucking time. Whether it's a man or a lady, a little boy, or a motherfucking athlete. I just want to share something with you folks. The gyms I train at, they're called fighting gyms. So, when you walk in the gym, or gyms plural, I currently train at seven different gyms. If any one of you motherfuckers got some big ass hog nuts, motherfucker, you want to come see me. Let's see if I'm for real, motherfucker. Fuck a YouTube, motherfucker. Fuck being behind the camera. Fuck being a cell soldier, bitch boy. Anytime a motherfucker want to test his metal, motherfucker. You just do your research. I currently train in seven different fighting gyms. Now, you walk in the gym, you're going to see a combination of one or three things, or maybe all together. But the first thing you're going to see when you walk in, you're going to either see like a boxing ring or a fucking cage. And we call it the octagon, motherfuckers. And so then you either see the cage here, or let's say the boxing ring, or the mat. So I do a lot of stand up. I do mat work. I like to get locked in the fucking cage, man. Because you can keep it real with yourself, you know what I'm saying? So then you got the cage, or the mat, or the uh, boxing ring. And then you got a combination of like heavy and light bags you know you got like pull up area bars and stuff there's some of the shit looks like ninja warriors right and then you also have like um i call it a crossfit area where you got the weights with the round uh rubber foam on them where you can drop them motherfuckers and do all that fucking fancy power clean snatches and walking overhead lunges and all that and then you got an area you know what I'm saying? Where uh, you got free weights, man. So I'm, I'm going to tell you the difference. Oh, you got an area for conditioning, or whether you want to call it. Uh, some of the places got basketball uh, courts. Some of them just have a cardio areas. We see a lot of guys in there doing martial arts or, you know, fitness type training. I call it like Tybalville. You know, a lot of punching and kicking and stuff. Striking, moving up and down. Well, what I'm here to discuss today is the difference between penitentiary type workouts or what you call convict conditioning and regular, I call them bitch boy, beach body boy uh, fucking workouts. Little, little metrosexual little bitch boys, right? So I go to some of these other gyms, man, you know. And uh, you walk in there, first of all, you can't ye scream and yell, you can't fucking drop weights, and you can't uh, use profanity. I'm like in there training, and I'm screaming, you know, I got snot coming out my nose and slobbering, and dropping weights and cussing. The guy comes out, hey man, you know, this is not the type of facility for that uh, type of behavior. It's like, man, what the fuck you talking about, man? It's a fucking ch no, this is a fitness center. And we don't have that type of behavior here. So, man, I got the fuck up out of there. Because just the other day, and just so you know, I'm not a huge proponent of lifting weights, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, but just to let Louis Marco know and Mark Lobner and them type of motherfuckers, Vegan Gaines and shit, the Hoskin Twins, whatever the fuck they call I do lift weights, but here's my cake that I learned from being the belly of the beast, being successful as an athlete. You know, no, I never made it to the 
professional anything because I got hurt a lot because I, I gave my all, but that's not an excuse, it's reality how I live. And, uh, you know, being successful in the military and the belly of the beast. Here's my cake. My cake is composed, the ingredients of my cake are athleticism. So, whatever sport it is you play, whether it's basketball or baseball or football or rugby, you know, cage fighting, that's a sport. Boxing, that's a sport. One particular sport is happens to be martial arts. So, 80% of my workouts revolve around martial arts training daily. So, now here's my icing. I get some cardio in, what I do, some running, uh, plyometrics, uh, any type of conditioning classes like that, jumper rope. I consider like hitting a speed bag and stuff and heavy bags, that's like cardio for me. So, remember, that's the icing. Now, here comes the the fucking candles. Uh, no, the sprinkles. My sprinkles are, I do a lot of bar work, man. I do a lot of pull ups, I do a lot of dips, um, just to keep it real. Uh, I can't do, we, we call them here muscle ups. Cali Muscle calls them power ups. We call them muscle ups where you don't pull ups on a bar and you pull yourself up with sexual velocity, then you. You go into a dip and you come back down, go up again. At my current weight of like, uh, I don't know, 235, um, I can only do like, uh, I don't know, four or five. I used to be at a point where I could do like 20, you know, but as my weight got higher, um, I didn't have the, the velocity to get up over the bar, you know, like I could pull myself up to here. But then that flip over, that twist over, this hard part, I wouldn't get it. So now that I'm lighter, I can do like four or five of them. But eventually, um, I plan to go down to like 190. I should be back to down my 20 again. So the point I'm trying to make to you folks is what separates a uh, penitentiary style lifter or convict conditioning from a regular little bitch boy, beach body boy. Like there's some guys in the gym, they got nice bodies, but they're not functional. Yeah, they're ripped and cut. And they're on the beach, you know, and they compress people. But they're not really like strong. They talk shit about people like Cali Muscle. You know, he's using fake weights and shit. Which I don't believe he is. I don't. That man is strong as fuck. I'm, the only reason I know because I'm strong as fuck. And I'm by no means Cali Muscle the black rhino. I'm OG Silverback. And the only reason is, Cali Muscle has uh, concentrated specifically on uh, bodybuilding and what I call power building. You know, he's not per se like a power lifter, but he does squats and deadlifts and benches. But he does a lot of reps, but he also packs on the weight, the poundages. So, um, not to educate Cali Muscle or anybody, but back in the day, he had this guy called Pete Gromkowski. He did what was called power bodybuilding. I think that's what. Cali Muscle does what we call it penitentiary style lifting because when you hit the yard, the pen, this is what me and my homies used to do. First, we go get our run on. Then, after that, you know, saying we already stretched when we was in the cell, we could come on, get our run on. Then, we do a lot of burpees and we do a lot of pull ups and dips, and deep knee bends, and push ups and sit ups. So then after we got that out of the way, because you man, we could do so many reps, you could be there all day. After we got that out of the way, then we would hit the weight. So um, you can verify this with Cali Muscle or any of the fresh out videos from California. Yes, I have been incarcerated back east, but um, that was such a long time ago. I don't really remember like the rotational system of the weights and all that, but I know out here, when I was in the, the belly beast, um, I started out level four. I was at San Quentin on the fifth tier uh, with Tukey Williams and those kind of people. Uh, murderers, cannibals, uh, rapists, just sick motherfuckers. So we on the fifth tier and as the tiers go down, you go down, down to level one points. So I went from uh, San Quentin to fifth tier uh, to New Folsom. Which I, I call that um, Gladiator Village. It's just a lot of fucking killing, a lot of lifers. 
You know what I'm saying? You know, the a yard, B yard, C yard, you know. And uh, same kind of level four program you locked up. Um, uh, I believe it was 23 hours a day. You get out one day, one hour a day. So you're taking advantage of it when you hit the yard, you know. From there, I went from uh, New Folsom. I went to uh, Mule Creek. Then I went to Tracy. Then I went to Fondad. Went to Avenal and ended up in Chino. So that's a whole nother video. But the point I'm making is me and my homies would hit the yard, do our pull ups and dips, and back then I could do so many fucking dips, man. It was like it was like retarded crazy. So then once you warmed up, so what happens is you got the up up north car time frame, then you got the southern boy time frame, you got Crips, Bloods, or Tingo Serenos time slots for the bench. So when you get on the bench, man, you got to take advantage of that time. So we on the bench and what happens in the, in the, in the belly of the beef, everybody starts out with a warm up. So let's just say you put on one quarter and you just repping that shit because you want to get the blood in there. You want to get pumped up because you don't know if it's going to be like situation on the yard where it's bullets flying, locked out. So you're trying to get it in. You ain't just doing a set of 10 home. You repping that motherfucking shit. Then you put on two quarters three quarters, four quarters, just so you know, uh, when I was in the belly of the beast, I was reffing 10 quarters, that's 500 pounds, for those of you who aren't as uh, educated in the terminology of being incarcerated. So what separates penitentiary style uh, workouts or convict conditioning from little bitch boy, baby boy, beach boy, muscle little bitches is three things. The intensity factor, when you're training in the pen, man, you're trying to get it on, so when it's time to get out, you can get out. So you, you train it with a purpose, man. You ain't worried about no strict form, all that bullshit. You're trying to get it in with force and power and velocity. Number two, guys in prison do a lot of bar work, or what you folks out here call pull-ups and dips, man. A lot of burpees. When you, can, when you can use your body like that for hundreds of reps, man, I ain't talking about 10 reps, I'm talking about hundreds of reps, because that's all you do, it gives you a different type of strength, not just your muscles, but your tendons, your ligaments, your connective tissues, your fascia, all that, yeah, for those of you who know, who know what that is, read a book, you silly motherfucker, it's more life than just watching YouTube videos, bitch boy, and so, also, um, it's the, the repetitions, man. You guys read too many bodybuilding magazines talking about, you know, sets of 8 to 10 and all that bull, 8 to 12 and all that bullshit, man. Watch C.T. Fletcher's videos. Watch Kali Muscle's videos, motherfucker. They've done so many reps. They just be repping that shit, man. They even have contests how many reps they can do. I've seen C.T. Fletcher take uh, 315, do that shit fucking 20 times, homie. So when you're ready to take it to that level, motherfucker, then you start getting some gains. You start complaining about people using fake weights and why people coming out of prison is bigger and stronger than everybody else because they got some kind of secret food up in there, you dumb fuck. 